Hey everyone, greetings from outside of the Scratch headquarters on the MIT campus. My name is Eric, also known as Speak Visually on Scratch. And I'm Rick Rose, also known as Rick Rose on Scratch. Welcome to the third episode of the Scratch Update. Um, so we've been having a lot of snow coming through Boston, so yeah. we thought it was only appropriate to take you guys outside in the elements with us for this video update. Just kidding, it's yeah, really it's cold outside. way too cold. Look at my glasses, they're all... Gross. I can't feel my fingers. Yeah, yeah. So joining you from inside. <laughs> so last week we highlighted studios, and this week we thought we'd highlight the way scratchers help each other in the community through tutorial projects. Cool. So our first segment, love, love it. it. Um, so my love it project is by the user the underscore grits, and it's a tutorial project, and it's called Fix It Pong. And a lot of tutorials sort of follow step by step instructions, um, and then you sort of create something. Um, but the Grits sort of switched it up, so they shared a project that had a Pong game, but it was broken, and so the first step was to click the See Inside button, and the Grits put little hints in the code of how to fix it, and what that did is you sort of, you learned by fixing the code and seeing it affect the Scratch project, which I thought was a really sort of uh, cool, inventive way to come up with a, a way to teach Scratch. Cool. Well, my tutorial is done by Day30. It's a vector tutorial. And Day30 shows this cool uh, tool called the Reshape tool. And you can take any of the vector objects, and it shows these dots that you can move around and shape it any way you like it. And through like a step-by-step -step process, Day30 shows some cool tricks that you can do, like some cool line art tricks to like do mm -hmm. different sizes. And uh, as Day30 says, like the best part, shading. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of adding like more dimension to your vector art, which sure. is and using the yeah. other editor in Scratch. Yeah. yeah. Those are, I guess are two examples of tutorials that we found were pretty cool. Um, but there are there are thousands, probably thousands of tutorials so out there. And so that sort of leads us to our next segment, which is things to try. Things to try. <laughs> We lost the, the, the ruler's gone. Where'd snowstorm, the ruler go? You know, there's a lot of wind. We lost the ruler in the snowstorm. We should get that after this. Yes, we'll We're find gonna... it. <laughs> um, sorry. So, things to try. Um, so, on the point of having a lot of different tutorials, I found a studio. I found two studios actually um, that talk that have different uh, tutorials in them. And so, one is called Tutorial Madness, and there must be. There must be at least like 300 tutorials in there. It's madness. And so there's 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 scratch tutorials. There's sort of artwork tutorials. There's even a Photoshop tutorial yeah, in there. Yeah, things outside of Scratch too. Yeah, and then there's another there's another studio called Scratch Tutorials that has I think like 20 or 30 sort of Scratch specific tutorials that are I think worth checking out. Yeah, so you might go and like learn something new as well. So uh, if you haven't found uh, starter projects, in Scratch we have these starter projects that are fairly simple, but they show different things that you can do with Scratch. For example, mm -hmm. video sensing. Yeah. One of my favorite video sensing starter projects is one where you're trying to lift a pizza up and keep it up and you can use your <laughs> hands and you can use your head. And uh, other projects, there's some That's interactive yes. art projects and you can use like your internal mic to do some really cool artwork. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my other favorites is a dance project so you can show some moves and <laughs> code with music. You saw my moves last week. <laughs> yeah. um, well, what's cool about starter projects is there's actually something in there for everyone. Even mm -hmm. scratchers, like I've been around for a while, you've been around for a while, but it's cool because there's sort of different genres, like for instance, mm -hmm. video sensing is something mm -hmm. I didn't know a lot about. So I think everyone can learn something from the starter projects. Yeah, cool. Cool. So that brings us to the message. We did from a drum roll oh, yeah. last time. I thought that was cool. Yeah, okay, I our message cool from the Scratch team, and we thought we'd build on top of last week's tour of kind of the Scratch headquarters. There's mm -hmm. one that we just kind of had to pass by fairly quickly, which is Emrez's office. But inside, there's some pretty cool things. It looks like a normal office, but I think we'll show you some really neat things inside as well. Cool, let's see it. Welcome to my office. I'm Mitch Resnick, Emrez on the Scratch website. Let me show you around my office. See, over here on the whiteboard, I like to collect some letters that I get about Scratch. Here's one from a proud Scratch parent. This is a note that I got from a Scratch workshop in Italy from one of the kids who was there. This is a letter I got just yesterday from a Scratcher in Tennessee. Love getting those letters. Uh, here's some also some different Scratch items that people have made. There's a great Scratch hat that someone from Mexico made. Uh, or when I went to Japan, they gave me a nice Scratch fan. <laughs> Actually, over here we have a bunch of books that have been written about Scratch. It's exciting that people around the world are writing books about Scratch. Actually, here's one from Japan. Here's one from China. 
Actually, here's a very special book. It was made by a former member of the Scratch team, Tommy Stern. And it shows different stages of the development of Scratch from when we started 10 years ago of how Scratch has evolved over the last decade. And if you come on the table here, we have some special treats. These are little crafty Scratch cats made with, made with pipe cleaners. Anyway, hope you enjoyed tour of the office. I look forward to seeing you on the Scratch website and keep on scratching. So that about wraps up our Scratch video update. Cool. What should we do now? I think we should probably find that ruler to keep this <laughs> going up. So we're going to go back in the snow. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you next week. Oh, there it is. We found the ruler. <laughs> yes! <laughs> right. yes.